everyone, it's Kelsey. I miss teaching yoga at the Y, and I hope you're all finding some time to relax at home. I'm here to go through a quick five to 10 minute flow of yoga poses and breathing techniques that you can do at home to release the stress that's going on in your mind. So we'll start in a comfortable seated position. Um, anyway, is good. And we'll close our eyes. And we'll focus our attention to our breath, inhaling through the nose, Feeling the belly expand, working through that diaphragm, the big muscle in your stomach. That breath entering up into the ribs, holding it for a second, and then exhaling fully, forcing out all of that carbon dioxide. And we'll continue with this pattern, aiming for six to eight seconds per inhale and exhale, equal ratio of breath. Inhaling, through the nose, counting in your head, trying to hold that breath, and then exhaling fully for that equal amount of time that you inhaled. And you continue, you can continue doing this for a couple minutes if you'd like, or you can begin to bring your left ear down to your left shoulder, chin to chest, and we'll just do a few circles with our neck all the while focusing on our equal ratio of breathing. We tend to carry a lot of stress and tension in our neck, so it's great to do this every day just to really release that tension. And we'll rotate the direction that we're going in. Nice, slow and controlled, relax those shoulders. If you feel yourself hunching up and just allow the neck to release. And then we'll come back to center and we'll move into cat cow position you can also do this seated if that's in your practice today or you can follow me spread those fingertips nice and wide i like to call them starfish hands suction cup to your mat micro bend in the elbows and as we inhale we'll arch our lower back as we look up and moving with the breath as we exhale tucking our tailbone under coming into cat pose feeling for any sticky spots in the spine and being aware of that, maybe holding it in cat or cow for a couple moments. If that's in your practice today, just doing what feels good and moving with the breath. Warming up the spine and the synovial fluid that lines our joints and our vertebra. You can flow through this for about 10 to 15 breaths. And then we'll move into spinal balance, extending our right hand and our left leg, zipping up that belly button to the spine, being mindful if our hip is popping out to the side, coming back to center, spreading our fingertips wide, our chin is tucked down, there's a micro bend in our elbow. And as we inhale, we lengthen through our right fingertips and our left heel and we hold it here while we focus on our breath feeling that warming sensation in our core one more big inhale and then we'll exhale we'll feel how our wrists checking in with our wrists today feel how they're doing maybe do a counter stretch making fists for wrists you can even walk those fingertips out all the way so the wrists are facing the front of your mat then we'll bring it back to center. We'll do the same thing on the other side, extending that left hand, right leg, tailbone tucked under, zipping that belly button up, keeping the chin tucked down, imagining you're balancing something on that back and you don't want to tip it over. Feel that warmth and that strength in the core. A good cue that I always like to use is embracing the core as if somebody were going to punch you in the stomach you wouldn't move at all focusing on the breath and then we'll exhale and we'll bring it back to center and you can flow through that a few more times I'd like to say three to five on each side and then we'll sit back into any comfortable child's pose you can stack your fists you can have a wider child's pose and just allow that lower back to release and rest the forehead on the mat 
and bring that attention back to your breath here. Allow yourself to relax in child's pose for a full minute. We'll walk our fingertips over to the left side, feeling a gentle stretch in our right side. And slowly back to center, and then over to the right side. And we can come back to center. This time we'll go ahead and bring our right hand in the middle of our mat. And we'll inhale, extending the left arm up. And as we exhale, threading it through, threading the needle, feeling that thoracic spine mobility as we inhale and lift, looking up at our fingertips, exhaling, flowing it through. One big inhale, and this time we'll go ahead and gently rest down on that shoulder if that's in our practice today, allowing the forehead to come onto the mat. You can bring your hand up and around or go ahead and bring both of those palms together and hold it there for a few breaths. Once you're ready to come back to center, you can go ahead and walk that opposite arm into the middle of the mat and inhale the right arm up. Exhaling as we thread it through, inhaling back up, exhaling through, and then one more time all the way up and we'll exhale, threading it through, resting down on that shoulder. Again, you can bring both hands together to feel more of a sensation or just allow that shoulder to stretch. Actively trying to bring space to the shoulder. You feel yourself tensing up, breathing into that point of stretch and relaxing. And we'll hold it here for a few breaths. And then when we're ready, we'll come back to center. You can repeat that cycle um, for a few more minutes if you'd like some relaxation. Um, and just remember to keep focusing on that breath and stretching and relaxing the mind while we're stuck at home. Uh, I miss you all and I can't wait for the wide open back up.